Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe from the Tech Slugs, and I'm going to be showing you how to unlock the bootloader and root the Motorola Moto G third generation on Android 6.0. As you guys heard me talk about in the video that I have spent $2,000 so far this year on smartphones. The reason I have is not only because of this device, but because I'm buying devices like this. They're up to date, powerful, and uh, are overall just going to serve me better and be more efficient at making money. So let's start by talking about unlocking the bootloader. But before I I even do that I want to tell you guys that the Motorola Moto G third generation has several models this is a Motorola Moto G third generation global GSM I'll leave a link in the description if you want to buy this on Amazon I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to unlock the screen on this smartphone this is pretty much brand new I just bought it and I bought this one so I could go through the root process and the unlock bootloader process with all you guys the first thing you got to do is go to about phone as you can see I already have them but you need to tap the build number a couple times as you can see it says no need you are already a developer yours is going to ask you to tap a few more times if you want to be a developer and then you're going to get these options once it says congratulations so then just click developer options make sure you turn on oem unlocking but first make sure the developer options are actually on and once they are hit oem unlocking and make sure usb debugging is on mine is yours won't be and then this is all you need to do on the actual phone now you just want to power off your Moto G third generation. Make sure you don't have any data on here that you want because this is going to wipe it. And then hold down the power button and the volume down key. This is going to put our phone into fast boot mode so we can get the unlock key in order to root this device. Now what you got to do, go over to your computer and open up terminal if you're on Mac or if you're on Windows, you need to go to the folder where you have Fastboot. By the way, if you guys don't have Fastboot, you need to get this, uh, this program. Fastboot is what allows you to get your unlock key off your device through your computer. I'll leave a link in the description to download minimal Fastboot. If you're on Windows, you're gonna have to navigate to the folder in which you have Fastboot stored. Hit Shift and open Command Window here. I'll leave a B-roll on the side for you can do that. If you're on a Mac, you're gonna have to change directories until you get into your Fastboot folder, wherever you put it on your computer. All right, so this is the folder I have Fastboot stored in. And as you can see, this is what I mean, Android, Mac, Fastboot. Once you've done this, connect your USB cable with the Motorola Moto G. Make sure it is in the Fastboot menu. It should say battery okay charging. Now what I want you to do, just as a check, you actually don't have to do this, is type in Fastboot devices. Ignore the period and the forward slash if you're on Windows. That is just for Mac users. Okay, as you can see, there's my device, my Motorola Moto G 3rd Gen. And at this point, what you need to type is Fastboot OEM get underscore unlock data. As you can see, it spit out this giant serial. This is what you have to put in on the Motorola website. So just log in at the Motorola customer portal. I will put a link to this in the description so you can get there real quick. Any email will do. Some say this email has to be on the device. It really doesn't matter. It can be any email you want. So you're going to go to this page from that link I put in the description. It's just gonna warn you right here and then it's gonna give you all these instructions. And you see this right here? This is where you have to input that serial. Get each line individually. I prefer this, it's just simple and that is going to keep it nice, clean, no duplicate characters, no spaces in there that shouldn't be there. And yeah, once we're done copying this code into the input box, then we can hit, can my device be unlocked? It's gonna verify eligibility. Now, if you got a Motorola Moto G third gen that is not global GSM or does not qualify for their bootloader unlocking program, then you will not get this at the bottom here. I agree and request unlock key. You will not get that, but I did because this is a global GSM model and it does qualify for this. Now navigate to the email in which you inputted for your Motorola account. It's going to send your unlock code to that. You have to copy this, go back to your terminal window and type in fastboot OEM unlock and then put this code in. And it's gonna work. And then as you can see on the actual device, it now says device is unlocked status code three. This is a good thing. And on the computer screen, it says phone is unlocked. So this is a success. We unlocked the bootloader. Next thing we're gonna do is actually root the phone. 
All right, the next thing we need to do in order to root the Moto G is we need to put a custom recovery on the device. From there, we're going to put Super SU into the file system, flash it, and that's going to root it. I'll have forum.xda developers up on screen. This is a great website for resources with dealing with Android. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. Just download the latest version of TWRP or get the one I'm going to use because it's going to work if your Moto G is on 6.0, 3.0.2. We're going to go ahead and download this. This is an image file that we will flash as the recovery. So once you download that, go to your downloads folder. All right, so just take that recovery file and put it in the same folder that has Fastboot. Rename this just recovery. So once the recovery file is in the same folder as Fastboot, navigate back to your terminal and type in Fastboot flash recovery, recovery.image. It's going to flash that custom recovery on your Android Moto G 3rd Gen. Once that is successfully flashed, the next thing you got to do is go to that device, hit the volume up a few times, and go to the recovery mode tab. Press this, it's going to take you to the TWRP, and this next point is going to be the actual rooting part. And once you flash TWRP on your phone and you boot up into the recovery partition, you need an Android file transfer studio. I'll put one in the description for Mac and also for Windows. So just go ahead and let it sit in the document root of your Android device. And what you need to do is you need to grab SuperSU 2.62. So I have 2.62 here that I'm going to put in the root directory of the Moto G. And then I'm going to go navigate over to it. I'm going to go down to 2.62 at the bottom here, and I'm going to flash this SuperSU.zip file. Make sure it's not automatically unzipping as I had with Mac. That's not good. It has to be a .zip for this to work. So just hit reboot after installation is complete. And then swipe to confirm flash. And it's going to go ahead and do its thing here. Once your phone actually reboots when you flash 2.62 Super SU, then just go ahead. It's going to come up with the welcome screen again. We're going to do one more thing before we quit just to make sure everything's working. Go ahead and go to the Play Store and download this app called Root Checker. We just want to make sure that root access was properly installed. Just click Verify Root on the Root Checker app to make sure that uh, that super user permissions were installed correctly. As you can see, this is going to show up. This is a good sign. This means super user is working correctly. And there you have it. Root is successfully installed on the Moto G third generation Marshmallow. Just wanted to do a complete Root tutorial for you guys. You know Root is useful for stuff like remote access with your money-making phones. And uh, I like this Moto G third generation, but rooting it can be a pain. So for those of you looking to buy it, I'll leave a link in the description to get it. Like I said, great, up-to-date, reliable phone that you can use to make money with. And yeah, you'll definitely see that in my inventory in the next cash routine. So I'll talk to you guys later and have fun making money. I'm making money with smartphones. And I saw that I had spent over $2,000 this year cumulatively on smartphones and computer upgrades, computer equipment, and also new computers. Most of that money I've spent has actually been on...